From backlogs and unemployment benefits to the handling of child welfare services, the state has had its fair share of some bureaucratic red tape made worse by the pandemic. And a lot of it comes down to our outdated technology. And KTV4's Kristen Concilio joining us live tonight with how the state is improving its computer system that supports hundreds of thousands of residents. And Kristen, this is pretty much obsolete that we found out, right? That's right, Tom. Today, Governor Ige shut down the state's last mainframe computer system, which handled major applications, some up to 60 years old. Now, those systems were moved to modern cloud-based servers on the mainland, which has, has better security and greater flexibility to scale up in the event of an emergency. During the height of the pandemic, the outdated systems were overwhelmed by the hundreds of thousands of jobless applicants, many of whom waited months for benefits. And I think, you know, in today's context, uh, you know, with with iPhones uh, changing every six months, four to six months, you know, to imagine that we have uh, software and systems that are 60 years old are, is just, um, you know, not, um, it's not supportable anymore. We're, we're glad to have migrated to the cloud. Now, the new system will not only speed up sluggish application processes, but back up critical state data and offer greater recovery capabilities in the case of a natural disaster, since the servers will now be off island. According to state officials, it's also less likely to be hacked. Besides unemployment, the system processes applications for disability compensation, child support, and child and welfare services. Reporting live, Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.